Welcome back to Set Streets and Needs, guys. I'm Chris Bauer. I am outside on a very cold and blustery Chicago day here in a suburb about southeast of Chicago called Tinley Park. Uh, behind me is Chuck E. Cheese, and they have a, I believe, one stage or a two stage. Huh. Let's go find out. <music> So behind me is a two-stage setup right here in Tinley Park, right outside of Chicago. Uh, looks like Chucky is not working at all. Um, he did not move, even though he had a wonderful solo with Ellen. Uh, it's just looking off to the side and stuck. Um, looks like everybody else is moving pretty good, and of course they're decorated for Christmas. So I love the uh, the outfits, and they made they made Jasper into Rudolph, which is excellent. It's a fine choice for Jasper. Um, but yeah, it's a little two stage, so another one of those tall ones. Um, Smitty, uh, Damon from Smitty Super Service Station, someone had commented on one of my videos where they asked about why the different stage heights. And I said that it wasn't consistent because in my, my, just the many visits I've done, certain two stages are short, some are tall. But Damon actually suggested that it could have been these were some of the locations that had the cheese crawl, the the uh, the tunnels underneath the stage. So uh, I tend to agree with them. I think that's a, a pretty smart observation because um, these are much taller stages. There's been several of the two stages that are on these taller stages. So uh, that's very likely what it is. Well, he's supposed to be singing his solo, but... Christmas time has come again. Unfortunately, it does not look like the wink works. Uh, in fact, it didn't even have a spotlight on the wink that came on after the song. Um, it just didn't have it at all. So um, I'm gonna stick around for another song and see if it uh, comes to life after that. You can definitely see the ceiling outline where the old showroom was all the way around here. And uh, this definitely used to be a bustling showroom back in the day. Uh, as far as art goes, I see we got the big war halls over here and the little war halls over way over there. Pretty large store actually, way over here in the uh, in the uh, game section. And uh, that looks pretty much it. There's some of the tickets on the wall. Um, I don't see the tokens on the wall. But yeah, that looks like the lower hall pieces are just about it.
nice decorations. Check he's got his Santa hat and C and his candy cane with the microphone. And Helen's got her Santa cap on. The munch. <laughs> I like his tie. Merry Christmas tie. Yeah, the wink is definitely broken. It does not work, unfortunately, but that's all right. Very good looking stage though. They look great decorated for Christmas. I'm definitely gonna miss that when these are finally all gone of decorating the, uh, the animatronics for the holidays. Fun little fact to add on about this door, they still use tokens in about 15 of their games. Um, uh, they'll probably end up phasing them out over in the next uh, year or so but they still use the tokens. Uh, I did talk to the game tech on my way or about when I was about to leave. He did tell me they have moved this location up for the 2.0 remodel to March. So this will be the last Christmas we see them decorated in their outfits, unfortunately. And as of March, the stage will be gone. So they are going to get Chucky back up and going. Uh, they're actually gonna overhaul him in the next few days. So he will be working again, hopefully by next week. But. Uh, yeah, if you want to come see this uh, two stage here in Tinley Park, you better hurry. You got three months. Well, that's it here from Tinley Park. Uh, I'm going to try to find another cool location in the Chicago area and visit there. But there is a Chuck E. Cheese behind me that is one of two of a kind. I'm right here in the outskirts of Chicago and Darien, Illinois. There is two of these in the Chicago area. That's the only two backdrops that are like them. And we're gonna go check out this single animatronic stage. Let's go see it. So behind me is a Studio Beta Stage 3 stage. So what's unique about this location is, this of course used to be a showbiz. Um, back in 1992, it went through concept unification. They had the Munches Make Believe Band here from 93 to 2019. Then in 2019, uh, Joliet, Illinois, which is about 45 minutes west of here, remodeled, got the 2.0, and they gave their animatronic, their Studio B Beta, uh, Studio C Beta, to this location. So they took out the animatronics off the three stages and they installed the beta right here and making it a very unique looking stage. Instead of three TVs, it's got the two, uh, four TVs. Uh, I don't even see an applause or uh, the applause signs, you know, the different uh, beta um, trademarks, I guess. They have the pizza time clock. Chuck at one time had a uh, hat on, a ball cap, but it doesn't appear to be around now. Uh, but it's really cool. There's two of these here in the Chicago area. Um, they are very unique looking. This one has been slated for the 2.0 remodel in the, within the next month. Uh, the bid is due next week, and then uh, they will be coming in and tearing out this three stage. But you can see where it used to be showroom used to be installed there the, the ledge all the way around it and uh it's very unique looking and very cool obviously we all wonder what's under the curtain storage more storage it's a bummer. I know as of a couple years ago, they still had the backdrops still up 
on behind the curtains from the uh, munch days. But it is cool. I don't I don't think the old Rock of Fire curtains are their original ones from here. They're probably from somewhere else, but maybe they are. I'm not 100% sure on that. But it is cool to see the, the old taupe curtains with the yellow tassel bottoms back in action. So the lights are quite lovely on this. I like the uh, mirrored backdrop for the neon. It goes really deep. It's very cool. This stage is also known as a Studio 3 stage or Studio, 3, or Studio C Darien uh, or a Beta 16M uh, 3 stage. I just talked to one of the employees here. They are on the list, uh, on the upcoming list for the 2.0 remodel, but they have pushed it back to about March 16th. Uh, so you do have about three months, just like uh, the two stage over in Tenley Park. Uh, looks like they're gonna be about around the same time that they're gonna be doing the remodel. So if you're wanting to stay, see a very unique stage set up, you got three months to come see it. They definitely have the Christmas programming. Unfortunately, he is not dressed for Christmas, which is a missed opportunity since this is his last one in existence. <laughs> Chicago showbiz. Yeah. So back when they were uh, building it, that's been written on there for what, 40 years now? <laughs> that's pretty cool. How'd you yeah. find that? That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty neat. I think I was yeah, like Chicago showbiz. That's amazing. Yeah. Rub the token for good luck, Lillard. That was pretty cool. We talked to Stuart, uh, an employee here. This, uh, I did not know this, this was the first showbiz in Illinois uh, when they opened back in the early 80s. Um, it was cool that they had one of the parts of the serving counter was uh, still had Chicago showbiz hanging on it, or written on it, so that's pretty neat. Uh, anyway, you've got uh, three months to see Darien, Illinois. Sorry, and also to clarify, and Stuart clarified this for me, I said that I didn't know why the Chucky wasn't working. We all know why the Chucky wasn't working. They quit letting the Studio C, or quit programming the Studio C bot, so that's why he just sat there and blinked. It's kind of a bummer, but anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you at the next one. Bye now. Thank you.